Hi folks, I'm from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com for this week's Sprint Note 3 ROM of the week. Do check out C-ROM. Um, now, if you don't like C-ROM because it's AOSP and you want to keep all of your uh, S Pen features, um, definitely um, check this one out uh, because this is um, sort of a hybrid uh, along with KitKat launcher as you can see here. Um, this is what similar to Eclipse ROM for Verizon. Uh, Note 3 and I remember a lot of people wanted that ROM for other devices uh, this is probably the closest thing like if you don't want to lose all your S Pen multi-window any of your Samsung features uh, but want to turn your phone into as much uh, into like an AOSP ROM then definitely this one is for you um, this ROM comes with its own kernel uh, its own uh, beast mode kernel which is awesome by the way um, and uh, it has a tweak uh, kernel RAM disk so it eliminates logging which basically means improved performance um, and also there's a bunch of performance improvements uh, it is actually super fast and also you got the nice KitKat launcher as you can see here um, also the new uh, new KitKat notifications uh, have been sorry quick settings have been replaced with the older jelly bean which I think saves space which is really nice there um, so very nice stuff. Inside you'll find almost zero bloatware. Um, just the apps you need so you won't find any of your uh, Sprint apps. Um, and this is based on the latest NC5 so you'll get all of the latest features uh, off the Sprint firmware such as Wi-Fi calling, um, all that good stuff. I think HD uh, voice is one of them. Let me turn off um, looking pretty good and also you got the four-way reboot menu here uh, along with a screenshot and screen recording built in which is very nice stuff there we go and it's being recorded and I can go ahead and stop it oh here we go that should stop it right Ah, oh, there we go. The stop button's there. Uh, I was tripping out there. Uh, but looking very, very good. Also, uh, for camera, um, you will find the AOSP camera instead. Um, and also, you get photos here. And also, you can grab the Google camera. Um, so you can have actually three cameras. So this is the older Jelly Bean camera, which works well. Um, you also got the regular Note 3 camera, of course. Um, and also you can go ahead and grab the Google camera off the Play Store um, so you have a bunch of cameras to work with uh, and also you do have Nova Launcher sorry it's not a KitKat well it looks like KitKat um, other than that you get a couple ASP uh, apps to replace I believe um, this clock is actually from ASP I think is it oh there should be two clocks yes there's two clocks. There's a USB clock there. Also, gallery. Um, you, you'll find additional gallery for viewing photosphere uh, videos if you use the AOSP camera to take photosphere. Uh, pen window manager and uh, some apps there. Uh, Winom Expose. You can go ahead and use Winom Expose to add shortcuts. Um, you can go ahead and uh, also um, customize your UI. I have a full tutorial guide on that, so check that out. Uh, that's very nice. Uh, what's really cool with this ROM is that it comes with its own beast um, beast mode kernel by the ROM developer Frieza. Um, he's an excellent kernel developer, by the way. Um, to tweak and overclock your phone, go ahead and use the Trickster Mod app. You can get this free on the Play Store. Um, go to General here. Um, now, this ROM is super fast. You don't need any overclocking. This is for those of you hardcore gamers and um, people who do you know high graphic intensive stuff on your phone um set the max to 2.72 gigahertz i find that's pretty stable hit that button that will apply it and also make sure kernel settings is set on that way when your phone reboots um it will set it to 2.72 gigahertz overclocking um now that doesn't mean your phone is going to run at that speed all the time it's only going to ramp up to that maximum when your phone needs it so if you're doing light applications um, it's actually not gonna even use that much also you do have Viper for Android of course and there's this tinted status bar it's sort of funny it changes the colors and stuff uh, while running different apps 
which I kind of like, which is cool. I think I've seen it before. I forgot which um, ROM it was. But looking very, very good. And also Quadrum scores, I'm getting near 27,000 uh, over clock. So very nice stuff. Uh, if you're looking for a nice bare bones ROM, um, that's going to you know, be super fast with a custom kernel with minimal number of apps while being able to keep most of your core functionality uh, of your S Pen and all the, all the TouchWiz features are still working. Um, definitely check this one out on the latest firmware. Um, and also if you want to be on the latest stock NC5 uh, stock sof uh, software, by firmware, sorry, then definitely check this one out because it's certainly better than stock without all the blowware. Um, it's just like stock but supercharged pretty much. So definitely check it out. You do have two choices for ROM of the week. Uh, C-ROM is my favorite actually but you know if you have to go with TouchWiz, you can grab this one. Very nice ROM. And don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM, XDA user, Frieza. He's been making some excellent ROMs for as long as I can remember. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com. And I will see you guys soon. And have a great day. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.